Hello, uh, Dr. Dave Gatros here uh, for COP 3014 and uh, uh, like most good instructors I do requests and this is a requested video from one of our students which I thought was a was a very good idea. What he wanted to do was he wanted to kind of a, a brief explanation of the CMath libraries which is which is fine. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let me show you how to use the CMath library. First of all what you want to do is you want to say include CMath up in the top of your program and you want this at the very top so that not only your main routine but all your functions actually see the library too they can use it. Uh, the next thing you want to do is whenever you use any of the CMath libraries most of the time uh, and I say most of the time uh, they're going to need a, a double precision floating point uh, number Okay, so we're going to say um, uh, double uh, number here, and we're going to initialize it. Always a good idea to initialize it to zero. All right. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time reading in or or, or, or writing uh, reading in values. I'm just going to hard code them into the program so we can see how to call these functions. That's the most important thing. I'm just going to demonstrate them in the main routine right here. The first one I want to show you is absolute value. Now absolute value, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to print them out and say uh, see out the uh, absolute uh, value of and we'll say negative uh, 100 and we'll make it a floating point number is and here I just want to print out the absolute value. Now again um, the function here can be used to any place where a double precision floating point number uh, is needed or can be used. I'm just printing it out to show you what's the results of it. How you call it is you say ABS and that's absolute value and you'll see here right here that it is uh, double X means that it's in the math library and it needs to be uh, a, a double floating point number or the thing inside of it needs to be cast as a double floating point number. Okay, so we're going to put in there, we're actually going to hard code it 100.0. Okay, and in now, and we will uh, build that, build solution. Oh, wrong direction, made a mistake. There we go. Better, better, better. And I leave my errors in here. You'll notice that whenever I, I, I do a lot of these videos, I leave my errors in there. And it's important to do that so that you can see uh, what errors are made and how to correct them. Okay, we're going to start with that debugging, and you're going to see, okay, the absolute value of negative 100 is 100. Okay, so that is absolute value. Let me... Um, uh, show you another one here that's actually kind of handy that we'll use in the future and it's called POW okay okay and POW is raised to the power okay okay so we say 100 uh, raised to the power of 4 is and we're going to show you how to call that and that is called POW P-A-W so what we're going to do is we're going to give it the number POW and any place here that I'm using hard-coded values uh, you can put variables or even constants. So POW is what we want to do is 100 here okay and then 4. Okay now um, it's going to give me a little error right there and I'm going to go ahead and correct it. Uh, 4 needs to be um, uh, the 4 needs to be an integer. It's expecting an integer right there. And the first number expects to be a, a double floating uh, precision number. So what it's going to do is it's going to take 100 and it's going to raise it to the power of 4 and print that out. Let's go ahead and build that. Build that solution. And we get it. And I'll start without debugging. You're going to see, well, it's 1. It gave me an exponential number which is uh, again very common to do this and we can use our uh, formatting our um, IO manip to actually give us the, the results in that um, and if you want to we can go ahead and put that in here we can we can give that a try okay include 
io manip. And it could be that uh, uh, some some numbers. Let's 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 just raise this to the power of two. That'll be a smaller number. And we're going to say um, uh, fixed set precision to four decimal places. We should get it, and then uh, pow. Okay. Okay. We're going to save this. It'll actually put it through a little. Uh, uh, syntax check. We're going to build it, and we're going to start without debugging. And you'll see. Okay, there it is. Precision of four. Very good. So that's POW. Very, very handy uh, little routine. Okay. And there, uh, the math library is quite large. It has a quite large uh, number of uh, values in it. The next thing we want to do is a natural log. And I'll cost you in the natural log is one of those things where it uh, must be zero or positive. You can have a log of zero, but you cannot have a negative number. You cannot have a neg the natural log of 100 is, and then we'll leave the fixed precision, and we'll put uh, log here. That's just log. Now, if it's log to the base 10, it's actually, uh, and I'll, I'll show you that one too. Let me remove that needs double precision. If it's log of base 10, this is a natural log, and log, log to uh, uh, base 10 is log 10. Okay, so uh, whichever one you want. This is a natural log, which is based upon uh, the exponent e, and that's how you do uh, call the natural log. Uh, build, build solution, good. Start with the debugging, and the natural log of that is 4.6052. Okay, that's natural log. Square root, very part of me. The the square root the root of 100 is, and we'll get in. That one is simply sqrt, the square root, and you'll see that. You have a square uh, square root f, double floating point, uh, you know, extended floating point precision. Uh, you have different versions of it. I uh, use just the double precision floating point numbers uh, uh, for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead with square root, and we'll show you how that. We'll build the solution. And then start without debugging. And there it is, square root. Okay. We have all of our um, uh, different uh, other functions. For instance, we have um, cosine, sine, tangent, arc cosine, arc, arc sine, arc tangent. Um, um, arc tangent 2, which is uh, uh, the tangent of y over x. We have the uh, um, ceiling, which is the smallest floating point integer greater than or equal to x. Um, we have uh, uh, all kinds of other uh, functions that are inside of the, uh, the math library. So I, what I want you to do is just uh, give, these a, give these a try. Cube, we don't need, there's not a cube, you can call pow if you want to, you can use pow. Uh, somebody else asked me about the inverse of a number. Again, the inverse uh, and square root, and those kinds of things, cannot be less than zero. Uh, uh, inverse cannot be zero. You have a negative number, but it just can't be zero. Uh, there, there is, you don't need an inverse function of uh, a number, but a uh, inverse 100 over zero. Then all we really do there is, is 1.0 divided by 100.0. Now, uh, let me caution you here too. A common thing to do is just to make this one. It will work. But it's a very bad programming practice. What you want to do is you want to make everything consistent. You want to make sure that that is a 1. Now, let's say that I want to leave it a 1. What I want to do is, uh, to make this really correct, I want to cast it as a double. So what happens is, uh, before this calculation is done, it looks at the equation. And it's going to take that number 1, which is in right in front of the uh, double in parentheses, and it's going to take it and it's going to cast it as a double floating point number. It's going to make it 1.0, and then it will do the calculation. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Build. Build solution. It worked. Debug. And is 0 0.0100. All right. Well, this is our explanation of uh, the CMath libraries. I, I hope that helped you. Um, um, the, uh, you can look these uh, libraries up online or they're in your book also. That's actually the, the best place to do. There's many, many libraries. So um, uh, look this over. If you have any other requests for videos, please let me know. I'll be glad to do them.